Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Monday, November 5th, 2018, and today in our Tech News Update, it seems that as more and more rumors are uh, actually emerging, uh, Samsung will be making a foldable phone. It's been also leaking uh, some, um, basically some, you know, Samsung folded um, lettering, basically, and it's... Uh, it's in name. So um, what we know from apparently leaked documents is that they would call it the Samsung Flex. And uh, basically would come out next year. It's going to be interesting to see. Would this be a game changer in the smartphone? Microsoft might be removing the volume mixer and the next version of Windows 10 from the control panel. It seems that uh, the latest build where all of this is happening and you know they had already in uh, the april 2018 update and october 2018 update actually um, started to put some audio settings in the settings panel windows 10 app um, it would be only in the windows 10 settings app with the next version 19h1 amazon we were wondering for a long time where the headquarters would be built well, it seems that uh, Amazon might have finally have chosen Crystal City, Virginia, and bring with it 50,000 jobs. Apparently, what makes everybody think that is the city? It seems that Amazon is in talk with the city right now, so it might be actually moving there. Nintendo Switch will have the YouTube app appear, yes, at the beginning when the Nintendo Switch was launched, uh, there was a lot of, um, you know, uh, general information that would kind of hint that YouTube app would never be in the Nintendo Switch. But the pressure of having, you know, Netflix and Nintendo and, and YouTube apps is huge. And, uh, well, it seems that maybe on November 8th, in a few days' time, the uh, YouTube app will finally arrive on the Nintendo Switch. Well, we saw a drop in PC market sales, we saw a drop in smartphone sales, but now the latest numbers from IDC point that there's also a drop in the tablet sales. It seems that the year-over-year -year, uh, sales for uh, the third quarter are 8.6% drop, and that means 39 to 36 million units sold. Well, it's estimated that 20,000 Google employees walked out last week to protest against the way the high-level sexual harassment has led to millions of dollars payout, and they are asking for a change. It's also something that is showing that for the first time, successful employee um, you know, uh, walkouts for all sorts of reasons might actually be followed through in other tech industries. Well, Microsoft wanted to be clear that Windows 10 in the enterprise has now more PCs than Windows 7. As some rumors were saying that Windows 10 is adoption in the enterprise is slow, uh, Microsoft says, well, there's more Windows 10 PCs now than Windows 7. As Windows 7, of course, the old operating system days are counted as there's barely more than a year left to its support. Well, one of the, you know, sometimes good things have a change or are used for things that we didn't think of. And uh, basically, it seems that the YouTube Super Chat is being used for hate speech. As more and more users that are live uh, see that some users are paying to actually display message for hateful or hurtful comments. And of course, this is one of the sad things about using this super chat which of course some people have decided hey we can use this to uh, promote hate speech twitter says its automated system removed at least 10,000 bot accounts that would ask users not to vote in the u.s midterm election but it seems that experts are saying there's a lot more than that so it's barely scratching the surface as the uh, automated system of course is being tweaked and finally, we talked about the new T2 security chip in Macs, and uh, it prevents third-party unauthorized repairs. 
But now we learned that the new security chip apparently prevents users from actually using or installing Linux because it's just not approved. It doesn't have the security certificates. So some users are a little mad and saying, well, you know, we'd like to be able to run Linux on our Macs if you want it. And this was the Tech News Update for Monday, November the 5th, 2018. You enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.